Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the tentacle hair glow. You know those dots. I'm gonna make them glow, that's what I mean. So first I'm gonna show the method that probably most people use, and then I'm gonna show my method, what I do. First we need a model, of course, so create new model. Inkling girl, there you go. So you see these dots, I wanna make them glow. With this hair, you can't really do it very easily. So most people probably go to the workshop and use a different hair model. So if you search for a Splatoon hair, so you can probably use this and this. So when you have that, add a new model and search for hair style and scroll down a bit until you find the one you want. So, oh, I wanna, I wanna just use the same one. So, this one. What's different with this one is, it is the exact same hair pretty much, but with this one, you can right click, set body groups, spot, and default hairstyle spot. And now they're glowing, and we can add override materials, and show an element viewer, model, materials, and here, M team color spot, and here we can, well, change the color. I can uh, make it uh, more pink, like that. Uh, I forgot to show this. If you want the dots to be even brighter, let's say you have the tone map scale uh, a bit uh, lower down, like that. Now it's quite, it's not very bright. So I'm gonna show you, well, how to make them brighter. So just add over materials to it. Then show an element viewer, model, expand materials. And then here, M team color spot, and you can change color here as I showed before. But what we're gonna do is right click, add attribute, vector three, then type in color. Now there are three zeros, so we're gonna replace them with uh, maybe two, two, two. Now it's a bit brighter, but we can go in even higher, so five, 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 or maybe 10, 10, 10. Just put in the number you want and you see how, well, how bright it is. So maybe like that. And if I want to replace the hair with this, I need a different model. I actually need uh, the alt model. So so if we add Inkling Girl, it has to be the alt model. I know it's the wrong hairstyle now, but it doesn't matter because we're going to replace it anyway. Add override materials, show an element viewer, model, materials. And here, Inkling Girl team color alt. Just right click, add attribute, float and type in dollar sign alpha. There you go. And the same for these two as well. So float alpha, float alpha. And now it's gone. So now what you have to do is expand these two, go to body on both, and then drag the bip head from the inkling model on top of the hair model like that. Then select the bip head on the hair model and go here and drag this uh, zero slider to the right. There you go. And now you see the eyebrows uh, doesn't match. So we're gonna fix that. So just go here, show an element viewer, model, expand materials. And here, Inkling Girl team color, we need to change uh, this color. There you go. So that is the method that most people will probably use. And now I'm gonna show my method because I think it could be interesting to see how I do it. So what I do is I use paint.net. So I have uh, just a, a cropped version of uh, my recent, my most recent poster here. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I add a new layer, then pick uh, the right color I want, use the paintbrush, and change the brush width to like four maybe, and then the hardness all the way down. And then I just zoom in and basically draw the outline of them, like that. And we're gonna go back later, don't worry. And here is very thin, so you probably have to change the brush width. So now, the paint bucket, bring up the tolerance a bit, like 70, and then just left click on all of them. Like that, bam, bam, bam. And now, blur them a little bit, just a tiny bit, maybe like one is enough. There you go. And the final step, go to properties, and change the blend mode to screen, or additive. And there you go! And yes, this takes a lot longer, but why I do it is because I think the result is a bit nicer. I like how it looks, that's it. But that's just my opinion and you, you might not, you might prefer the SFM, uh, the SFM look. So that's how to make the tentacle hair glow in SFM, and also how I do it in paint.net. Yeah, that's it for the video, so thanks so much for watching and bye!